Electric murder, three, it's a, I don't know, 12 volt or something murder from that city driver port apart in that other video I did and burnt the other one out. There's the other one I run off that transformer. Now I'm, gonna run, I'm running it off this 53 volt rectifier transformer. Let's see what happens. Bearings can't keep the friction up. I uh, can't reduce the friction up speed. There we go. Parking out. Hope I don't get shocked. If I hold it. Yeah. It's going quite well. Turn it off. I'll burn out eventually. Oh, it's warm. Getting warm. Oh. Take that little gear off it and see what happens. Take two. There we go. Ah. Yep, that spark coming out of it. Wow, that's hot. That's right, it's squeaking. Bearing lost the friction at the heat and then start to squeak. Come on, that's dry eventually. Sorting out. Yeah. 
is dead. Yep, seized. Okay, let the matter cool down for a bit. Now I'm gonna do an autopsy. I got it turning, but I left it on a bit too long. I must have melted the brush or one of the one or two of the brushes. So I'm gonna do an autopsy. Let's see what happened. Okay, well this little ring here. I think it sits on top of the little Moscow around this contact bit that goes in the windings. That, that actually glued on, but they got so hot that, that melted and flew off. It started floating around. And the brushes, you can't see in the camera, it looks like shit, but they're not what they should be. I melted the ends of them off and they've lost contact on the commutator. That's why it stopped. So I technically didn't seize. But that's not as cooked as I thought it would be. If the brushes weren't so melted, I probably could have got it working again, but... That's the autopsy. Hmm. That's a little bit warm. Oh, thank you for watching. Yeah. I forgot to note something else too. The solder on these little connectors at each of the windings it's actually come loose. It's got this hot centrifugal force flung the solder spat it all over the magnet. So actually the windings desoldered and the centrifugal forces flung them apart and disconnected it instantly. So it wasn't just that that was a problem. It actually came disconnected from the centrifugal force and the heat melted the solder. So that's a pretty interesting failure. Can't get a good sight. There's a solder in there. You can just see it on the camera. Okay, see you later.